Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. Let us observe fecal multiplication of this heart cataract. Nuclear sclerosis is about in grade 6. By this time, the main incision has been made and this is a side port on the left side of the main incision. An air bubble is injected into the anterior chamber. Beneath this air bubble, Tripon blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule to get some contrast during capsular excess. The dye is washed out using BSS and a Simco cannula. And now, the anterior chamber is filled off with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. Now, a uh, uterata forceps is being used for capsular excess. The anterior capsule is punctured at the center, a capsular tag is raised, and this capsular tag is being guided anticlockwise all around to get a large rexis. Size of this rexis is about 6.25 millimeter. Yes, since the cataract is almost black, since it is very hard, I want to do a large rexis. Nucleus management will be easier. Genular stress will be much less if I do a large rexis. And now, hydro dissection is done very gently. Small alicots or BSS is injected in some points. The nucleus is stabbed and the nucleus is rotated. The antechamber is again filled up with visco and now goes the feco needle. See the exposed part of the needle, it is more than usual cases. After aspirating some superficial cortex, the handpiece is turned to make the bevel off. Now watch submarine chop. The tip goes into the substance of the nucleus, travels through the nucleus towards the opposite equator. And as it reaches near the opposite equator, the chopper is used to get a crack and the nucleus is separated. The two heminuclei are separated. 180 degree rotation, one or two skulls to go to a deeper level and then the two heminuclei are separated completely. Now, one heminucleus is again being chopped by the same way, the submarine chop technique. Now on piece is tilted and emulsification is started from its apex. When we tilt, the epinucleus goes down and it protects the posterior capsule. And the pointed tip of the large hard triangular piece doesn't put a pressure on a single point on the posterior capsule. Now the other heminucleus is being divided in the same way. The tip goes through the substance of the heminucleus and it is chopped. There is a small attachment at the central part and here it is. It is released by a, a, a short application of BSS at the band joining the two large fragments. And now we come to the last fragment. At this time, see how I am trying to protect the posterior capsule. I remove the epinucleus from the nuclear base use the epinuclear boat as a cushion. The epinucleus is acting like a boat and using it as a cushion and over this epinuclear shell I am emulsifying the hard nucleus and it is done. And now the epinucleus and now the epinucleus is emulsified using low vacuum and low flow rate. There are some small nuclear pieces which are at the side port. I am going to enlarge the side port a little bit by this keratome 
and remove all the pieces through this side port. This side port is 90 degree away from the main wound. So, if we enlarge this, it is going to neutralize the induced astigmatism little bit more. And now, the cortex is removed using this 23 gauze Simco cannula. We are having fairly good red glow which means the retina is attached and we have done ultrasonic, ultrasound B scan and we found that the retina is attached. This is the last bit of cortex, it is removed. Posterior capsule appears clean. And now is the time to implant an intraocular lens. The main wound is being enlarged a little bit because I am going to use a B cartridge, white bore cartridge. The size of the main wound is about 3 millimeter now. Now here goes the intraocular lens. Yes, the haptics are in the capsula bag. The rexis is so large that the anterior capsular rim does not overlap the optic. So, the size of the rexis is about 6.25 millimeter. The side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma. And then a final lavage of the anterior chamber is done. At this time, a gentle stream of BSS is directed towards the corneal endothelium. Any visco sticking to the corneal endothelium is removed. The antechamber is nicely formed. And now, a cotton dipped Janssen bar is taken. The integrity of the wounds are checked. Few drops of moxie is applied over the cornea, and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Learn submarine job for heart cataracts. Wish not it were easier. Wish you were better. Don't wish for less problems. Wish for more skills. Don't wish for less challenges. Wish for more wisdom. Make a journey towards excellence. Be better every day. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.